Reed looking for the green flag here. Green flag coming. It's hammer down time. El Paso County Raceway. Your stock guys are getting the go juice going. Bellum trying to get on the inside of Phil Reed. Look out for everybody here. They're going to be trading some paint, folks. There's a little bit of bad blood brewing in this stock car main event here. Phil Reed on the inside here. He's got Cameron O'Lear. That 16G going to give it a slingshot out of turn four. Can Cam O'Lear take the lead? No, Phil Reed's got lap number one. Phil Reed got the lead here, and he's going to dig down, dig down on that inside line. He's got Joe Bellum right behind him here. The 73 is trying to dig up on the inside of Cam O'Lear, who's holding on for dear life on that midline right now. Cam O'Lear is going to try to shuffle down there, but I think he's got it grooved in pretty good. Ryan O'Lear's brother going to slide up high, and he's going to slide to the back of the pack. The 82R, Phil Reed, who's got everything locked down right now. He's smoking out the rest of the crowd. He's sending them toxic fumes back. He says, smoke some of this, boys. Take a whiff of that smoke as he rips down the front straight. The 82R, Phil Reed got a good lead. Bellum looking high side now. It's not going to be there. Let's see if he gets a switchback. Oh, maybe he's going to make it be there. Joe Bellum driving it in hard on that hard side. That high side, he's giving it the go juice out of the corner, but Phil Reed's got that thing dialed in on the low line. Joe Bellum says, this is my only way around you, so I'm just going to get up on the boot scoot and boogie away. Joe Bellum, your new leader. Joe Bellum looking for his first main event on the season, and he's going to come out of four, turn four, turning on the turbo. Joe Bellum leads this one. White flag is coming out here this time by. One to go for Joe Bellum. The battle right now is for second between O'Hear, Reed, and Ecker. Bellum comfortably out front. O'Lear going to slide up high through one and two again. He needs a good, oh, he needs an excellent slingshot through three and four this time by. He lost a lot of time coming through the corner. Joe Bellum, though, the 73 takes the checkered. The battle for second is going to be won by Phil Reed. But it's Al Balding and Travis Brandt going to get us started here. Sport Mod main event is hammered down from El Paso. Balding got a good start, so did Brandt. Brandt's gonna get up into the soft stuff and lose some time, and somehow Derek Murphy is already up into third. I don't know how he managed to finagle that, but Derek Murphy's sitting in third with Dave Stock right behind him. Brandt's gonna round out the top five, coming to the line. Good first lap for Al Balding Jr. He's gotta stay out in front. He's got 19 more laps to hold off a bunch of hungry guys that want points. Balding Jr. is sitting way down there in points right now, so he could use a main event victory two laps down, and they both belong to the 07 J. Councilman is all over the backside of Balding, and here he comes on the inside, though. Danny Councilman just going to run right by Al Balding Jr. like he wasn't even there. Five to go. It'll be four this time by. Four laps left to go this time by for the 4D of Danny Councilman, who is just bobbing and weaving his way through lap traffic right now. And then it's the 07J of Al Balding Jr. still holding on the second, but Murphy's on the inside. They're door to door here through one and two. Murphy slides up into him, hard contact, pushes Balding up the track, and now Murphy's gonna dig it past him down the backstretch. Derek Murphy's driven it up into second, and he's got Balding Jr. behind him. Balding looking to switch him back, but Murphy's gonna lock it down, and Derek Murphy up into second. Murphy through one and two here, and he's gonna put the boom pad to the floor down the back straight and let it roar, trying to run away from the 07J of Al Balding Jr. He's looking to pick up his fifth, fifth main event on the season from El Paso County Raceway and run away from everybody in the point standings. He's gonna lead them through three and four, and here he comes. Danny Councilman takes another checkered flag. Hobby Stock main event is underway. Beerman, the 28, got a good start, but not as good as the Mopar machine. He's just down on that low line right now, and he's going to dig right past the 12 car, Chad Cooper. Then it's Chad Nelson on the inside, the 99X. Hunter Smith in fourth, and Jason Rispin rounds out the top five. Lap number one is going to belong to Adam Beerman in the 28. Beerman trying to hold off that 12 of Shad Cooper. He's looking like it's going to be a top line kind of night from the Mopar machine, which is what I like to see. One and two really isn't there a whole lot, but three and four has definitely settled down. Nelson in third, followed by Hunter Smith and Jason Rispin. Two laps down, 18 to go. Cooper and Beerman a little love tap, two, one and two there. Here comes Hunter Smith on the low line of the 99X Nelson. 
Nelson slid high out of turn two, and they're going to be banging door to door through three and four for the third place spot right now. Nelson on that high line, he's just going to drive it right past. Oh, and he's going to overdrive and spin it. Chad Nelson overdrove turn four and spun it. Great job by Gilligan in the 1S car to miss contact. Chad Cooper in that 12 car just ripping up the high line. Cooper, oh, Cooper and Smith were real close for second that time around, and we're going to get a yellow. That is Nelson and Rispin spun in turn four. Didn't see what happened, but Nelson and Rispin have turned sideways in turn four and caught up together. Nanner ain't gonna slide up into that fifth place spot past the 36 of Jason Rispin. Oh, and Adam Beerman's gonna get turned around by Shad Cooper on the backstretch. Halfway point of the race here this time by Shad Cooper looking to get around the outside of Adam. The 12 cars up into third. Shad Cooper's right back in this thing, folks. I told you he wasn't going to be out of it for very long, and he wasn't. Two laps, and Shad Cooper's already back up into the top three, but he's got a decent amount of ground between him and Hunter Smith in that 1S car as Hunter gives that 28 of Beerman a little love coming out of the corner. Hunter Smith looking for the lead, but Beerman holds him off off the inside line. Adam Beerman holding on for dear life. He opened the door. Uh-oh, there goes Shad Cooper in the Mopar machine. Oh, Adam Beerman opened the door right up for Shad, who's gone from the back all the way to the front, and he's leading this thing here. Shad Cooper working like a grown man out there, showing Beerman and Smith how it's done, and he's going to be digging, digging, digging away. The ghost gets to the floor, and he's looking for more. He's letting that go juice flow. Coming through three and four, Shad Cooper is going to come from the back all the way to the front and win the money. Cooper wins it, Beerman in second, Hunter Smith in third. Now 600 division is hammered down. Great start by both Cox and Galatia with Spicola right behind. Cox is going to get into the soft stuff through one and two, and he'll lose that position to Spicola. Cox still looking like he might run that high line through three and four here. He's got Tim Snelling right behind him in fourth. Then it's Mike rounding out the top five. But leading lap number one is going to be Christian Galatia in the 17 car. Here comes Christian Galacia with one lap left to go. Let's see if somebody tries a high line shot. Let's see if Spicola, here he comes through one and two. He's going to set it in hard and he's trying for it, but it is not there and Tim Snelling's going to run past him. I thought we might see it. I thought we might see Chase set it in absolutely as hard as he could. Wasn't there in the high line, not there for anybody. And Christian Galacia going to start on the pool and take the checkered flag. I don't think Devin Breeze was ready for it, but Cody Will surely was. Breeze still in this thing, though. He's right in that second place spot. He's got the 4C of Zach Larson behind in his tip. Holcomb in the 09 of Chris Chris, top five. Outside looking in his uh, Crystal Breeze with Randy Ecker and Fred Schneider going 7 8 behind her. Everybody's starting to bounce around here, but we're still kind of settling into a single file here, especially with between your top five. Devin Breeze is trying to find a way around that 27 of Welsh now. He's going to look high here through three and four. Oh, baby, he tried to give it a shot, but he'll settle back down to the low line there. Oh, Tip Holcomb tried to slide up in front of Breeze, and he'll flip in turn two. Big flip in turn two. One lap left to go for the 27C of Cody Welsh. Welsh digging now. He's got this thing locked in. He knows he's only got one to go here. Devin Bree's going to give him a big bump through the corner. Because Welsh says, that doesn't phase me at all. You're going to have to give me more than that. Here we go down the back straight. Oh, and we get a spin on the front stretch. Get out of the way, Mr. Adams. Looking for the checkered flag. Here it comes. Cody Welsh wins it. One more time for Cody Welsh. Worthington, here we come. Compact main event, last of the night is hammered down from El Paso County Raceway. Braden Hills are got a good start. He's off into the jump there. We got a bunch of bang and through one and two. That's three wide battles there. Jacob Worthington going to scoot right around the low side. He's up in a second with his sister, Brianna Worthington, battling for the lead with Braden Hilzer. Brianna going to go up and around the outside. She's going to boot, scoot, and boogie away with the lead. On for one more lap. 
Brianna got a great start, but can she keep it clean? She fishtails through one and two. She's going to lose a little time. Here comes Jacob up on the inside. It's going to be a true sibling battle to the end. There we're banging door to door for a second. Brianna's going to pull away. Jacob's on the inside line. Who's it going to be? Oh, that's too close to call. I got to go to my scorers. Let's look at the time.